Twenty seconds in Thailand, Thailand Raw. Over here again on Silom, walking down to the river, Chao Phrai, where I'm gonna go sit on a little dock by the Chao Phrai River and watch the one or two boats go by. You can see it's not extremely busy. Today's a holiday. It's a makeup day for Song Kran. Schools are out. Uh, government shops and uh, stuff are closed. So I am headed down here. If you was to Google the Shangri-La, then you'll be able to see the little route that we're going. It comes, this little road just deads in to a little restaurant called Jack's Bar. Which again, I've been to, I told you about before, it's not just a bar, it's actually a restaurant. So let me get right down there and, and uh, have a look and we'll, we'll go from there. Tomorrow when it's not a holiday, I'll take another picture of that street and show you, I mean, it looks nothing like um, Phuket. Because in Phuket, of course, being a tourist town, everyone left, including the people that work there. They all went back home here or even up to Isan. But here in Bangkok, the people that live here and work here, they're still here. Now, the one thing is, I'm the only white guy I've seen over here. But uh, I know that's not 100% true, but I still, I'm the only one I've seen. I went to McDonald's today, just this afternoon to get my, um, my McDonald's fix in. And there was nobody in there except Thai. And I was amazed to see how many Thai people sitting in a McDonald's, young and old. One of the things I found funny, if you, if you don't go to McDonald's, if you're not a McDonald's fan, um, not only do kids and you know young adults go to McDonald's, but there's also a, uh, a seasoned client that goes to McDonald's. The, the retirees or politely the senior citizens, especially in America, and so, I'd never seen it in Thailand, but like there was two big groups of older men that have just like just sitting around drinking their coffees, just like America. It's quite it was quite funny, and I was just surprised about that. You know, mid afternoon to see a a bunch of retired men sitting at McDonald's, joking around, just like just like in America, with, with the cultures being so different but so much the same. All right, we're getting down. We're getting close. Here's the Shangri-La. And here's little bars and shops all the way down. But I, these would be cheaper to sit at. But I like to get right on the water with the breeze. So we're going all the way down here to the end. Thank you. Wow, I got down here. It's so quiet, and I don't want to disturb the guests here. We've got a couple of guests here and here. I actually did find some more Ferengs. Five in total. Six. Six if you count me. So, so few boats out. The one long tail here. I never thought I'd be on the streets out in the middle of downtown Bangkok. The main part, right next to the Boy Tower, right across from Icon Siam, on the river, and I would call it peaceful. It's freaking peaceful over here today. I've never, never seen it this quiet, calm, and relaxing in Bangkok of all places.
Love this place. Gotta get going. Thai drama's on. Look, Thai drama. Thai drama. Don't interrupt people with Thai drama. It, that was a really, really cool, wonderful, peaceful evening. But now, I gotta head back to my super duper wonderful hotel and make paschetti. Yeah, spaghetti. My number one food. I know you guys get so angry at me because I don't eat enough Thai food. I could have had a smorgasbord back there. But I've already bought all the preparation, well, most of the preparations for uh, making spaghetti and my hotel room has a kitchenette. So I'm gonna go back and just buy a couple of things more and make myself some spaghetti bolognese and just chill out at the hotel. Enjoy my spaghetti bolognese because it's been a quiet evening and I'm just gonna make sure that it stays a quiet evening. Look, it's so quiet and peaceful here. I've never seen Bangkok. So peaceful. So peaceful. All right, I gotta go to the store. Be right back. Hey guys, now I'm back here at the hotel with my super duper little kitchen. I am staying at the Center Point uh, River View Hotel, which unfortunately will be closing in a month. And I asked them today the reasons. I'll explain that later. They're going to be well, not closing permanently. They're going to be doing one of the government uh, COVID-19 uh, resort type places where people come and stay the two weeks. That's what they're going to do. So they're shutting down the restaurant in preparations for that. They anticipate uh, other countries coming over. So that's a good. Well, I, I can't predict what's happening. Anyway, back to what I'm doing here. I want to tell you, I love this kitchenette, microwave, uh, well, washer and dryer, no, no need for that, but this place has, it gives you the essentials to do what you want to. You get your cutting board, your stuff right here. You want knives, we got knives. You want a can opener, we got can openers. Forks, spoons, spatulas, plates. We're gonna make some pasta tonight, I'll be using that one. And we're gonna make it, yep, we're gonna have to be using this as well. So, I'm going to go, I just went down to the Topps Market and I bought, now guys, uh, let me give you a little tidbit of warning. You know, like in America, when they put the yellow tag on there and they say that um, it's expiring and they want to mark it down, that's cool. But here in Thailand, if they put that sticker on there, dude, that means today. They're not joking about, hey, well, you know, it's probably good for another couple days. They mean like, take it now or it's going in the trash. So I always take my chances. I shouldn't, but I do. Uh, I bought an uh, onion for, where we at, seven baht. So seven baht, 42 baht. And the most expensive thing here is gonna be this can of Prego that I've had for six months here. There's a long story on how I can have a can of Prego in Bangkok waiting on me for six months. But it's a true story. Now I don't have all the ingredients to do this properly like oil, salt, pepper, spices, which is why the Prego comes in handy because it has all the spices built in. But anyway, I, this is not a cooking show. I'm just letting you guys know what I'm eating for dinner and this, uh, I'm sorry. Next I want 20 seconds in Thailand, cooking with Rob. Oh. Can you take this asshole back to America, please? Goody, goody. Don't forget that.